This is the social design app from Fundy Designer. What's really cool is that you immediately are presented with the opportunity to upload up to 12 photos. There's no limit really as to size. They're telling you the limit is 8,500 pixels, but in reality, you're rarely gonna have a photo that large unless you're doing panoramas and then you might have, but you basically browse your photos and then you're presented with the opportunity to give the project a name, give uh, one panel a bunch of text, give another panel a bunch of text, and then the ending panel with a bunch of text. And that ending panel is usually pretty good for like the call to action. To upload your logo, you again browse your computer for the logo. Now, there's no drag and drop for some reason. I'm assuming they're going to add drag and drop in the future, but right now you actually have to browse your computer for it. So you go ahead and you do all that stuff. You find your logo, you do all the uh, importing that you need to, and then uh, you add your text, and then you choose your story type. Now, what this does is it creates a Instagram story template for you, and, or layout rather, because they don't templatize. They do, but they don't. Fundy is all about making things unique for each photo. It's a little bit of AI automation that they utilize to look at the photos and determine the best layout um, based on the design style that you choose. So you can see I'm browsing the different layouts for the stories and I go ahead and I, ch I chose um, the one that I thought would work best for the photos and then it moves on to the carousel. So you're getting the story and you're getting the carousel with the swipes, right? So this is gonna be in your feed, um, in your Instagram feed and it's going to be a swipeable thing. So you choose the, the design that you like and immediately, <laughs> Immediately, it's looking at, uh, it's showing you rather the, the, the design. So I chose farmhouse for both. Um, and I'm going to look into, you know, you dig in to actually like go and edit. You can see there's some text that needs to be adjusted. You can actually adjust the fonts, the sizes, the colors, all that stuff. You can add additional elements. But basically, it looked at the layout design that you chose and then looked at the photos that you uploaded to determine what to actually, how to actually lay it out, which photos and what order and things like that. It, it's very smart at, at figuring all of that stuff out. So I go in here, I zoom in first of all, because <laughs> it's a, kind of small to begin with. And then I, you know, go in and I adjust the text. Uh, I play around with it. It's very similar to Canva. Um, it's even similar to Figma and it's similar to Photoshop and all that stuff, where it's a very easy system to work with. You can drag and drop the boxes and do their different layouts and change your fonts and all that stuff, colors, all that stuff, the ordering of things. Everything can be customized um, and you just play around, you swipe over or use the scroll bar to scroll over. And if you're not happy with it, you can actually change the design. And you can see that once you change the design, it even looks at the photos and, and figures out, you know, is there a different um, layout that will work best, you know, with these photos, it'll, it'll reorganize things as needed. And you go in, you just make your adjustments. You can see that's what I'm doing. I really like this one a lot. Uh, I like this one a lot. It's, it's I'm not big on having very dark uh, branding, but I think this actually works very well with my branding. So I'm, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Um, and I just need to, you know, drag and drop some different changes, um, make sure the cropping looks good where I want it to be, uh, change some fonts, make it a little smaller. That's much better. And then you hit download. And then it's, it basically renders everything, right? You, you're uploading large images, so you, you then uh, render everything when you hit download. It does this automatically, you don't have to think about it. And then you have your images downloaded, ready to upload as a story. Now it moves in to the carousel, right? So it's the same thing. I can go in, I can make my adjustment if I'm not happy with it. Like I don't like how it uh, chose the same photo twice, right? If I'm not happy with it, I can change things up. I can try different styles, see if I like different styles for these photos more than others. So um, let's see, I really like this one, but it's not on brand for me at all. I'm 
This one is definitely more like it, but it needs some adjustments. Like, I don't like how that photo is cutting off the feet at the bottom. So I'm going to swap it out. Then I think I need to adjust the text and then again, it's duplicating the photo. So I got to swap that out as well. And it's going to play with the layout a little bit, see what I like the best. Move my logo up, move the font up and then hit download. Again, it's going to render. It's going to download a zip file with all the images. If you're wondering what is coming next to this uh, social design app from Funny Designer, there's a couple things. One is they're working on a mobile app so that you can do all this while on your phone or on your tablet so that you don't have to go to the computer. Like if you're out and about and you want to do a design, you'll be able to do it from the mobile app. The other thing they're working on is video support. You'll be able to drop in videos in, into the drop zones um, or a GIF. So that way you can have some animation for your stories and carousels, depending as. So that way you can have some animation in your stories and carousels instead of just still images. And then, of course, they're also working on support for reels. So they're also going to be able to generate reels, um, which could be used uh, for TikTok, could be used for Instagram, could be used for YouTube shorts or wherever. But you'll be able to basically download what I'm assuming is going to be a video file to then upload for those, for those platforms as a real style format. So that's gonna be really cool.